What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got Lineage 2 Revolution on your screen in front of you today, but before we begin, I've got some shout-outs to do. <clears throat> Feisty Bitch would like me to shout-out to her with attitude, so shout-out to Feisty Bitch. I hope I did that correctly. Eli Sussman says that if anybody ever wants to point the finger and blame somebody, hashtag blame Eli. Death Not Mayo says, my name is Mega Dumb, and I want shout out to Redthorn. Thank you so much. Lirial says, my name is Babadookie, and I would like a shout out. So shout out to Lirial Babadookie. And shout out to Shrine here, my Tumblr hacker, and only she knows what that means. But shout out to Shrine. Fortress Siege, number 38 in the series. Last week, 37.1 should have been number 38. I was not aware that that was actually a real fight due to the fact that it only took less than 60 seconds <laughs> from start to finish. However, I found out it was a real fight. My bad, I'm not listing that as number 38, but instead as 37.1. It happens. There are going to be fights that are over very quickly and there will be fights that extend out the entire 30 minutes. So be it. Number 38 is today. Ataraxi defending their A-grade fortress against demigods. Now, Ataraxi and demigods, this is their third fight. The first fight I did not record, I was doing Rock versus Korean Legacy. The second fight I did record, Ataraxi won both of those fights. Now we're on the third one. Will Ataraxi complete the hat trick? Or will three times the charm work for demigods this week? We will find out soon enough. And there you have it in front of you. Ataraxi versus Demigods. Demigods paid 65 million Adena for a right to challenge Ataraxi for this A-grade fortress. That's a pretty good price. There are actually, I think there are five real fights this weekend. Miss Solo, she is in one of those fights. I will leave a link to her channel in the description below and a clickable tab in the outro if you want to go check out her video of that fight and I will tell you which one that is momentarily. The rankings, by the way, are still messed up. Yesterday I got a DM about what the CP was at for the clans, but a lot can happen in 24 hours, so I'm not gonna show you that. Here's S-grade, let's see, this one, Transcendence versus Shogunite. I'm going to call Transcendence as the winner of that one. Coming back here, I believe only, oh, this is, quote, un unquote, a real fight. But Nefarious only has 25 members. Now, Nefarious used to be called Yorza. Yorza took their warmongers and sent them over to Rock. The people remaining in Nefarious are the ones that want to do casual play. So I think this is a great chance for Korean Legacy to take a fortress. Because Nefarious, from the last time I saw only had 25 people. So I think uh, we'll call Korean Legacy for that one. That is fixed. We know about this one. That is fixed. That is fixed. Redemption versus Shiva. This is the one Miss Solo was doing. I'm going to call Redemption. It's a tough call, but I'm going to say Redemption. No Mercy versus Infinity. No Mercy, I'm being told, got a lot of mercs. And this one is difficult to call because I looked at the CP of the individuals in each of the clans. And they're more or less dead even across the board. A lot of people have said that Infinity is just a little mini rock. That doesn't really mean anything to not rock. So I'm not sure. I'm going to call Infinity, but it could go either way. But I'll say Infinity for that one. And that one is fixed. However, the hard buff went off, which tells me that we have 3 minutes and 15 seconds before the beginning of this battle. So let's head in. 3 minutes before the beginning of this battle and... People are starting to come in. I will be back at a minute and a half to do the rest. And we're back with a minute and 30 seconds remaining before the beginning of this battle. I haven't seen Ataraxi's leader come in yet. Ataraxi in the blue on the top. The defenders of this A-grade fortress will wait around for their leader for a little bit and see if they come in before we head on down. Oh, we got 45 seconds left. I don't see their leader. They must not be in yet. Good luck to Ataraxi. Demigods in the red. 
on the bottom, the attackers, the ones we will be following. There is their leader, Dim Hacks. Dim Hacks is the leader. Boy, that was easy to find. I wish Ataraxes was just as easy, but I guess we'll see them later on. Ten seconds further, we begin. Five seconds before we begin. And here we go. Fortune Siege, number 38, Ataraxy versus Demigods. Both teams getting their altar imprints. Both teams interrupted. Ataraxy stopping Demigods before they could get any kind of serious damage done to the non-spawn gate defense towers. Ataraxy interrupted. Demigods interrupted. Let's head on over here. See what Ataraxy did to this one. Absolutely nothing. Ataraxy trying again. Interrupted. Demigods tried again. Interrupted. Ataraxy coming on down here to the non spawn gate of Demigods. Starting to do some damage to those defensive towers. And then we're stopped. Demigods over halfway in their altar imprint. Three seconds, two seconds, one second. 10% buff for the next three minutes for Demigods. They're going to come flooding up here now. goes one of the defense towers of the non-spawn gate of Ataraxy. Ataraxy almost got halfway, but we're interrupted. And there goes a the non-spawn gate of Ataraxy. And there goes the non-spawn gate of Demigods. Demigods, 30% buff the next two minutes and 12 seconds definitely a different start to this fight than the last two Let's see if demigods can capitalize on this now they are met by a wall of ataraxy and there goes the holy artifact defense tower of ataraxy demigods is out here with something to prove. We don't want to go three losses in a row against Ataraxy. There goes Demigods leader Dem Hacks trying to get some time. He's getting a lot. I'd say you got about five, six, seven seconds there. Taking the lead. Dem Demigods in the lead with kills. Ataraxy managing to push them back. But this Holy Artifact Defense Tower just needs a nudge, and it is gone. And they're actually pushing them out of their base. Let's see what's going on over here at the spawn. Nobody's over there. All right. Back to the big battle here at the non-spawn gate. They are stopping them at the choke point, or trying to at least. But that 30% buff is difficult to overcome. Demigods pushing their way back in. Demigods has 20 seconds remaining of the 30% buff. There goes the final Holy Artifact Defense Tower of Ataraxy. Ataraxy, great job pushing them out. Great defensive effort there during Demigod's first 30% buff in this fight. And there goes their 30% buff. They are trying for it again. Interrupted. 30 seconds remaining on their 10% buff. Demigods over halfway. Demigods, three seconds, two seconds, one second. 
30% buff in the next 14 seconds. But now they can come up here and get this other one. The altar of earth and printing has been reset. And are actually tried, interrupted. I still haven't seen Anorexi's leader yet. Anorexi trying for their own. Interrupted, but driving back demigods again and again. Will it be enough? So far, nothing for Anorexi. Let me guys, getting more Holy Artifact imprint time. Anorexi, over halfway. Anorexi, three seconds, two seconds, once. Oh! Interrupted at the last second. That's gotta hurt. They are wasting the 10% buff of demigods right now. And they're actually trying again. And they're actually over halfway. And oh, interrupted at the last second again. Trying again. Over halfway. And they got it. 10% buff for the next three minutes for Ataraxi. Well, Demigods has less than 30 seconds remaining on theirs. Let's see here. It's almost like they're trying to control the fountain. A la open siege. The altar of wind has been reset. All right. And the guys are trying to go for their own altar imprint interrupted. Ataraxi, coming on down here to try to get that 30% buff. Demigods tried, interrupted. Despite being down in the kill department, Ataraxi is doing a phenomenal job right now. With less than 22 minutes remaining in this battle. Demigods, trying. Over halfway, interrupted. Ataraxi trying, interrupted. There goes a defense tower of the spawn gate of Ataraxi. And there goes the spawn gate of Ataraxi. What's going on up here? Is it one guy, one person? Looks like one person was doing it. Wow. Ataraxi is having a little skirmish. Johnny Feller, there's their leader of Ataraxi. You'd think I would have known that, but I can't remember every single detail. Ataraxi, over halfway on Demigod's altar imprint. Ataraxi, two seconds, one second. Oh, again, interrupted at the last second. That was at the last millisecond right there. Ataraxi, only 43 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Johnny Feller, he's doing his his thing again with his circling around. There goes the Holy Artifact Defense Tower number one of Demigods. And Johnny Feller's right there on the spot. 
He is getting some time. They have caught up. No doubt they have caught up to demigods and holy artifact imprint time right now. Both teams are trying to imprint the holy artifact. Both teams interrupted. Johnny, trying again. Oh, he's getting a ton of time right now. But he finally got interrupted. Wow, it is going back and forth with these imprints. Both altar imprints are available. Both teams are trying. Demigods has been interrupted twice. The game can't keep up with all this. Look at it, it's still trying to go. Ataraxi, over halfway, uh, interrupted. Demigods, over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for Demigods for the next three minutes. Ataraxi interrupted. The red team has started imprinting the Ataraxi catching up to demigods in the kill department. In fact, they have more or less caught up to them right now. A lot of red team, holy artifact notifications there. However, the fight for Ataraxi's Alter Imprint continues. And Ataraxi has surpassed demigods in the kill department. Ataraxi interrupted. That, that looked like about two seconds of remaining there. Maybe, maybe not. Demigod's going for it. Interrupted. Ataraxi going for it. Interrupted. Trying again. Lots of blue up here now. It takes forever to imprint one of these altars. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for Ataraxi for the next three minutes. Demigods, 43 seconds remaining on their 10% buff. Johnny Feller. And he gets taken down. Them hacks is he's trying he's he's running he he's just trying to get one or two seconds here. But he had no backup whatsoever and there was a, a lot of blue surrounding him. And there goes Demigod's Altar. Red is in force here now. Not much in the way of blue. But despite that, they are still consistently interrupting demigods. The blue team has started imprinting the 
Damn it, guys. Over halfway. Three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes with Demigods. But Johnny Feller got it down to 10 second countdown. And he's trying again. He got down to 15 seconds there. Johnny Feller. Eight seconds. Six seconds for Anorax. He wins this battle. Oh, got it down to six seconds. And then died. But Anorax is definitely in the lead by who knows how much Holy Artifact imprint time. We have less than 15 minutes remaining in this battle. This is a good fight. I'm not gonna lie to you. Demigods got the 30% buff in the beginning. Anoraxi has yet to get one. Doesn't need it. The red team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The altar of and there's Dem Hacks trying to get get some time to play catch up here. Demigods is up here in force. He's getting some time. Anoraxi pushed them off. Johnny Feller got it down to 10 seconds. Try again. Surrounded by red. Ataraxi interrupted. Wow, there's a lot of them there, and they got interrupted. Good job by Demigods on that. Ataraxi over halfway. Interrupted. The kill, kill death is almost tied, ladies and gentlemen. Demigods is definitely doing a better job this time around. I don't know how they did in the first fight. I did see how they did in the second one. They're doing a lot better in this third one, for real. The altar of wind has been Both altars ready for imprint. still think Ataraxi is winning for the tiebreaker, should this come down to it. Less than 12 minutes remaining in this battle. Demigods over halfway. Interrupted. Ataraxi almost got to the halfway point before interrupted. Demigods over halfway again, interrupted again. There are a lot of a lot all over the place. Ataraxi, 10% buff for the next three minutes. Demigods, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes. Back to Tide on the buff department. We have just about and now we have 11 minutes remaining in this battle. This is going to go to distance, I think. The red team has started imprinting the whole the red Both leaders have died the at almost the same time. Red 
team's gate has been destroyed. The red team's defense tower has been destroyed. There goes the spawn gate of Timmy Gods. Battle ends in ten minutes. Ten minutes remaining in this battle. Dem hacks, cornered and killed. Back again, though. Let me gosh, trying to push their way in. Trying, not very successful. They are catching them at that choke point right here. Them hacks killed before you get anywhere. This is up again. Runs into a wall of Hataraxi and killed again. Both altars are about to expire. There goes Ataraxes. The altar of Earth and, and there reset. goes Demigods. The altar of wind has been reset. The altar of wind has been imprinted. Demi guys got theirs for the next three minutes. Ataraxi got theirs for the next three minutes. They are keeping it tight in this game so far. Demi guys only down by 25 kills. That's a lot different than last time. Johnny Feller trying to make his way there, pulls back, runs around his uh, circle. It's like they're trying to get set up for their attack run or something. Interrupted. Killed both. Both killed again at almost the same time. What is going on up here? Looks like Demigod is trying to push their way in. Ataraxi, another wall, pushing them back. Good defense there. Same thing happening down here with demigods. Pushing out Ataraxi. Five and a half minutes remaining in this battle. This 
battles everywhere. I wish I could get them all. Demigod's altar ready. Anaraxi's altar ready. Less than five minutes remaining. Anaraxi interrupted. Demigod still going over halfway. Interrupted. Anaraxi got their 10% buff. And Demigods got theirs. God, trying to push in. Successfully doing so. There goes Johnny Feller trying to get more time. Got it to 10 seconds again. He's trying again. Unsuccess successful attempt by demigods and we have two minutes remaining in this battle Anaraxi with about a 60 kill lead over demigods but probably a 20 to 30 to 40 to who knows lead in holy artifact imprint time and they're getting some more right now So I think this, like I said, this is going to go to distance. I don't think either team is going to be able to successfully imprint the Holy Artifact. I could be wrong. But Adaraxi won this battle by Holy Artifact imprint time. But don't, don't say anything bad about Demigods. They did a hell of a lot better this time around than the last time I recorded them. And they are up here in force. Demigods! Demigods got it down to four seconds with 45 seconds left in this battle. That was the closest that I've seen them get. But it's not enough. I simply don't think it's enough for them to catch up. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Demigods, one last try. Failed. 
10 seconds remaining in this battle. There is no way anyone can win by Holy Artifact imprint. So it comes down to the tiebreaker. And congratulations to Adorexi for the third straight successful defense against demigods. Congratulations to Flausch, Septato, Robski, and Aaron Dill for taking one through four. Here are your stats. That was definitely a better fight by demigods. Adorexi has to give him credit to that and for that and to them and whatever else you want to say. Adorexi definitely had a slow start in that battle. But they picked it up. Johnny Feller got in there. Got some Holy Artifact imprint time. And that's all she wrote. Only one dash on Demigod's side. Great fight. Definitely one of the better ones. Not the best, but definitely one of the best ones that Demigods have done. All right, let's check out how everybody else did and see if my predictions came true. Let's see. Redemption won. Called that. Infinity won. I believe I called that. That was fixed. Ataraxy, well, they won. That was fixed. Uh, we, I knew that. That was supposedly real, but I had a feeling Green Legacy. So I called that, too. And let me guess. Transcendence won. Called them all. Five for five. What the... Hit me up on Discord or Twitter. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.